In this video I'm going to talk about the bark drawing method. So in the 1860s these plates were made for art students to draw as a way of teaching them art. Now every atelier, classical atelier is, is teaching this kind of stuff and also on the internet you have lots of these artists telling you to that this is the way to replicate what the old masters did. What I'm going to say in this video is that while there's no harm in copying them and there are lessons to be learned like the grouping of of the shadow tones and the light that copying bark plates with the method they teach you in these, uh, these ateliers is not going to make you a, a great artist or painter. It's not going to make you paint like the old masters. You cannot paint like the old masters, you can only paint like yourself. And the thing about painting and drawing is that you have to do it yourself. You have to go through the the work yourself. You have to see it yourself. And so what, what a good teacher does is that they make you see it so that you can express it. My, this is my problem with these ateliers and with this internet trend of copying bark plates. If you want to copy bark plates like this draw them freehand. Do not use these silly measuring tools to draw it out because as an artist you do not want a, a crutch to lean on. You don't want to create crutch type paintings. What you want to do is you want to go to the sculpture yourself and draw the sculpture and try to understand the form and your expression of when you are looking at it. So drawing is not about copying. This is the big thing that that people are being badly taught is that drawing is not copying, drawing is translating. You are translating from the three dimensions to the two dimensions. You're not copying the two dimensions to the two dimensions. And so if you want to draw and draw well and draw with a high level, you have to go out there and you have to see it and draw it and express it yourself. And you have to see the form values for yourself. The weakness about painting and drawing today is that people are trying to copy what they see rather than express what they see. So they think that painting is an illusion when and that the point of doing a drawing is to create an, an illusion and this is what they're doing wrong in these ateliers. In these ateliers they are giving you the misconception that drawing is, is replic replicating an illusion. It is not. Drawing is about understanding, translating and then expressing what you see and what you think. It is not about copying. And that aspect, which I've just explained, is the structure in which the artist needs to think when they draw. That is drawing. That is the great difficulty of drawing. That you are, you are comprehending what you are looking at. You're not copying what you're looking at. So, to think that you can draw the bark plates and then think that this is old master drawing is, is nonsense. There's no harm in copying it, as long as it teaches you to see. The whole point of, of art education should be to teach you how to see and, and how to express what you think. It's not copying, and it's not about creating an illusion. The point of drawing is not creating the illusion. The point of drawing is actually truth. To draw a truth as, as you express it and experience it. It's not copying. 
it's not an illusionistic contest and a lot of these illusionistic uh, painters on the internet they do it all from photographs and even the ones that are doing from life are miscomprehending what painting is and they're painting to look flat because they think that painting is purely a process of copying an optical illusion it's not it's about comprehending far more like form values distance weight space what you feel at the time what you expressively feel it's not about copying it's not about um, kind of a dot to dot way of, of painting and drawing so they're misunderstanding what drawing is through the teaching of these these bark plates and on top of that they they teach it with a pomposity which is ludicrous because it's not going to make you a great artist this is a drawing by Lucian Freud he did not go through the bark method and this is a much stronger drawing than any of the drawings you see in these ateliers. It's far stronger because it's far more truthful. It's coming from him, his own eyes, his own experience. He's looking at it for himself. He's exploring the form. That's what makes it exciting that he's, ex he's actually expressing what he is seeing and he can communicate this. It is not about copying. It is, out, it is about expressing what you think and what you see. And what, you, what tends to happen when you're drawing well is that you express form values, so the structure of things. How, they are, how, how the head is actually a structure and how you're manipulating space. You are converting the three dimensions into the two dimensions. You're not copying, you are translating, you are comprehending. You are expressing. That's the difficulty in painting and drawing. And that's why it's so difficult to do. It's not copying. It's not copying a method. It is not how, who creates the most f convincing photographic illusion. No. It is about conveying the experience of looking and thinking and comprehending and then expressing. And that's why it's such a difficult thing to do. And it comes from your experience of it. So let's look at Sargent's drawings. So Sargent is like the go-to painter of these ateliers. And they don't understand his, his work. So if I show you a Sargent. This is not, a, this is not the, uh, the, um, that kind of copying they do at these ateliers. He is, he is expressing the space, expressing his experience of the model. He is translating. He is not copying a dot-to-dot -dot way of doing it. The dot-to-dot -dot way of thinking about painting is you are just going to have a copy, a flat copy. He is actually looking, seeing and then expressing what he feels and what he sees, the sensation of space, depth, light, all those things. It is not a technique. The technique is the expression. This is what people do not understand, especially on the internet and especially in these ateliers. It's not, I'm going to create a photographic illusion. No, you are expressing truth. The truth of your experience while you draw. That is what drawing is about. You see? And it's like carving in space. You are carving in space. You are expressing. The model is in front of you. You're trying to find a language to express your experience. It's not copying dot to dot and a way of doing it. That's why Sargent said, study the old masters, study Velazquez and Howells, and then you forget about them.
So you can see in this Degar how the drawing, how he's using the drawing to sculpt the figure, to sculpt the painting. It's not copying. He's expressing what he's feeling, what he's seeing, what he's thinking. You can see the form of the head there. It is all about structure. It's not this kind of right way of illusionistic copying, which, which, uh, which aims to be, which has the total wrong intentions about what, what actually drawing and painting is. Drawing and painting is about your ex your experience of what you're looking at and how you sculpt that, how you, how you move the the parts around, how you express the form. It is a living experience, not an experience of copying, of this is how you do it, this method, that method, no, it's about what you express, what you feel, what you think, what you comprehend, and the translation of the, th of the three dimensions into the two dimensions. A process of translation and of thought. So, so there is no easy way to draw the old masters. That is what I'm telling you. The, the true way is the hard work way, is the way of drawing yourself, expressing it for yourself and seeing it for yourself. And a good teacher sees you, teaches you how to look. Not a method of how to do it. Painting is is something which cannot be just taught with a method and and said, and then you say this is the right way to do it. Thank you.